Hello, this video is going to talk about how to configure a weighted total column in Blackboard Grade Center. So I'm going to look at our syllabus for this course and um, you looked at the grading plan to see that how your um, grade is configured. There are three categories, one for discussions, which is 20%, one low stakes assessment, which includes a practice test and uploading an assignment. Those, both of those are worth 5% of your grade. And then your final project is the bulk of your grade at 75%. Once those, the categories and the percentages are established, then we can come into the grade center. Um, let's look at what categories are provided by Blackboard by default. If I go under Manage and then click Categories, by default I have these um, several, seven or so, um, categories. And um, if, if you're using the discussion tool that particular forum will go automatically go under the discussion category, but you can move them if you want. You can assign it a different category if you want. Um, we have that practice test and then the assignment. But I want, as I said, I want my categories to be discussions, low stakes assessments, and final project. So I need to make these two categories, create them. All right. So the way to do that is um, just click create category. I'm going to call it final project. You don't have to give a description if you don't want to. Create one more, call it low stakes assessments. All right, so here are the two I created. Notice they have a checkbox next to them. Um, and when I mouse over them, I get an action arrow on the right. Whereas the default Blackboard um, categories, I do not have those. Um, so I, from the action arrow, I could edit it or delete it from there. Or with the checkbox, I could just check it and click delete from there if I wanted to. All right, so we have our categories all set. Now we'll click OK. Next thing, and most importantly, is we have to make sure that all of our categories are assigned to the correct assessment columns. So that final project column is, um, I'm going to edit the column information, which means just editing that, that column. And when that column was created manually, it was not assigned a category. So I need to assign it to the final project category. So that when I enter the score for this um, assessment, it will uh, configure according to the percentage of that final project category. All right. Next, I needed to assign this practice test. Again, edit column information. To it automatically went to the test category because I use the test tool, but I'm going to change that to low stakes assessment and the upload assignment. Let's see where did that one go? Here we go. Uh, edit column information category. Oops, category should be low stakes assessment. Okay, and all the discussions did go under the discussion um, topic or category, I mean. All right, so now that we have everything assigned the correct category, now we'll create the weighted total column. I had deleted mine so I could show you this um, in the end so you have that full experience. So under Create Calculated Column, choose Weighted Column, give it a name, and scroll down to the Select Columns area. And we're going to um, assign our categories by uh, by categories. You could assign each individual column with a particular percentage, but we're going to do it by categories. It's much easier. So remember, my final project is worth 75%. My discussions are worth 20%. And the low stakes assessments are worth 5 how, when you, so I clicked on the name of the category, click this arrow in the middle to move it to this space over here, and that's when I can assign the category. Everything must add up to 100%. Um, if it doesn't, and you went to submit the, submit, you know, the column thinking you were finished, it wouldn't submit it for you until you have to figure that out. <laughs> now let's look at this um, category area. I assigned it a, a, a percentage. If some of my discussions were worth, say, 100 
points and some were worth only 10 points, I might want to weight my columns within this category proportionally so the discussions worth much more points would be weighted a little bit more heavily so because more work went into it, for example. So that's equal, but if they're all worth the same amount of points, which they are in this class, then we would just keep them at equally. If I want to drop a highest grade or a lowest grade within this, again, just within this category, you would put a check mark there. If you, so drop grade and then maybe the top two highest grades, I don't know why you'd want to do that, but anyway, you could do that there. Or if you wanted to, um, use only the lowest value or the highest value, you could check that um, radio button as well. Okay, so that's what all of those mean. All right, so um, we have that set. I'm going to click Submit. And remember, when you create a column, where does it go? Way over to the end, right? So I want to move that to the front. So to manage your, col your grade center under Manage, go to Column Organization. I can see that final grade column right at the end, and I'm going to move it to the very front. All right, so that's how to create a weighted column, weighted total column, how to create the categories needed to assign the percentages, and how to move your columns around. Again, I think you saw that in a previous video. All right, so if you have any questions about weighting columns, don't hesitate to contact me. Thank you.